Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my fourth class on module two, properties of integers. In my previous lecture video, uh, we discussed about mathematical induction and also recursive definition. So in this lecture video, we'll be discussing about the rules of sum and product. So first we will discuss about the rules of sum. Uh, to define this, I'm going to take two tasks. Task 1 will be called as T1 and task 2 will be called as T2. Suppose two tasks T1 and T2 are to be performed. Uh, if the task T1 can be performed in M different ways and the task T2 can be performed in N different ways. Okay. And, and these two tasks cannot be performed simultaneously. And uh, out of these two tasks, of uh, one task like t1 or t2 can be performed in m plus n ways so since both we cannot perform simultaneously so any one task out of these two any one like t1 or t2 can be performed in m plus n ways so this is called rule of sum example suppose t1 is a task of selecting a prime number which is less than 10 and t2 is a task of selecting an even number less than 10. So then t1 can be performed in 4 ways. Because the less than 10 contains only 4 prime numbers. So it will be in 4 ways. And t2 can be performed in 4 ways. Because uh, uh, so we can, we can select even number less than 10 only in 4 ways only. But uh, 2 is both prime as well as even number in less than 10. Then the task T1 or T2 can be performed in 4 plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 7 ways. Because the 2 is belonging to both prime number as well as even number. So I'm going to remove that. So I'll be getting 7 ways here. Next is rules of product. Suppose two tasks are performed one after the other. So if T1 can be performed in N1 different ways. And for each of these ways, T2 can be performed in N2 different ways. Then both the tasks can be performed in N1 into N2 different ways. Example, suppose a person has 8 shirt and 5 ties. Then he has, then he has 8 into 4 is equal to 40. Sorry, 8 into 5 it's actually. 8 into 5 is equal to 40 different ways of choosing a shirt and a time. Problem number one. Cars of a particular manufacturer come in four models, 12 colors, three, eng three engine sizes and two transmission types. So how many distinct cars can be manufactured is first one. B is uh, out of this how many have the same color. Okay. So first one by the product rule it follows that the number of distinct cars can be manufactured will be four, 4 models into 12 colors into 3 engine types and 2 transmission types. So it will be equal to 280. But in the case of color, uh, for any chosen color, the number of distinct cars that can be manufactured will be 4, 4 into 3 into 2 into is equal to 24. So four, 4 models and 3 engines types and 2 transmitters types. So for a particular color. So it will be equal to 24. Problem number 2. Find the number of proper devices of 4,41,000. Solution. We note that 4,41,000 can be represented like 2 cube into 3 square into 5 cube into 7 square. So therefore, every divisors of n is equal to 4, 4, 1, triple 0 must be of the form 2 power p into 3 power q into 5 power r and 7 power s. So where this p varies from 0 to 3, q varies from 0 to 2, r varies from 0 to 3 and s varies from 0 to 2. Okay, fine. So now the divisor it will be called like D. So P can be chosen in four ways here. Okay. P can be chosen in four ways. Q can be chosen in three ways. R can be chosen in four ways again. And S can be chosen in 
three ways. Okay. So accordingly, the number of possible divisors is four into three into four into three. It will be equal to one forty-four. We'll be getting. So out of this, two divisors, namely one as well as n, are not a proper divisors. So I'm going to eliminate this from one forty-four. So therefore, I'll be having the proper divisors of the given number is one forty-four minus two is equal to one forty-two. Problem number three: Find the number of three-digit even numbers with no repeated digits. So we'll find. So we have to find your three-digit even numbers with no repeated digits. So here we consider the number of the form x, y, z. Okay, where each of x, y, z uh, shows a uh, digit under the given restrictions. So since x, y, z has to be even. Z, uh, Z has to be zero, two, four, six, or eight. Okay, if Z is zero, then X has nine choices. Then X will be having nine choices here, and Y Z will be having two, four, six, eight. Four choices will be having. Okay, so then X has eight choices. So if Y Z will be having two, four, six, eight as a number. Then x will be having only eight choices. So note that x cannot be a zero. So therefore, z and x can be chosen in one into nine plus four into eight is equal to forty-one ways. So for, uh, for each of these ways, y can be chosen in eight ways here. So hence, the desired number will be forty-one into eight is equal to three twenty-eight. Thank you.